Hi, good day. Last time we stopped in how CMS will provide you the earned value till the date of generating your report. And now we need to continue and check how CMS will complete the schedule and cost management for your project. Let's go for the management to proceed for the step two, which is actual schedule. We have to insert now the actual schedule. Are we finished this activities on time or not? What is the actual date to start and finish this activity? So let's go now for the actual schedule, which is the same schedule. And as we informed before, that we have to use this to insert the actual schedule. You will find a new percentage here, came, which is a completed percentage, which you already inserted before in the earned value page. So now we have the earned value for the project and for each activity which with the actual completion for each activity and we already have before by CMS calculation the planned value when easily you are making a comparing now between the planned and the actual you will know your status for each activity for example the excavation must must be completed 100% and it's already completed 100% backfilling the same 100% and 100% if you come here to check the BCC, it's planned to be completed by 100% and also actual you complete 100%. For Raft Foundation, planned to be completed 51%, but you only completed 15%. A stripe beam considered to be calculated 43%, but you consider but you completed only 10%. First, let's tell how CMS calculated the planned value. He is of course considering the planned start and the planned finish and he is making the balance job. Also this delay is reflected on the schedule as we saw here because there is a delay happening in the BCC and instead of 9 of December it's finished 20th of December that's there is a delay happening also here in the foundation. This information will make you think and consider a mitigation plan for your next activities how we will absorb or how we will cover this kind of delay so you have a lot of ways to mitigate your delay by increasing your resources to complete the raft try to complete the raft on time instead of 30 of january if you finish actually in 20th of january that means you will make a proper mitigation by increasing your manpower so you have to think how to absorb and recover your delay Okay, so what to do now with this information or what CMS will do with this information? Now we have actually the planned value and the earned value. Here, as you said, the planned value for each activity separately. Where is the planned value for full project till last month? The cash flow which is processed and generated by CMS is the planned value. What does it mean? This month, which is second month, you shall complete it work with six million eight hundred ninety but instead of six million something you finish only four million something that's why you already your actual completion is 1.66 percent instead of 2.44 percent in sec in the second month and we'll see all this information in the report when we will reach for report and you can see this also clearly in the in the graph or the progress baseline and progress recovery here as you see here that's the progress baseline the blue one is the planned value the gray one is the progress recovery now we have some delay because of the delay which will have which happened already in the raft bcc and anyhow this will be clear in the dashboard when we reach for the dashboard so let's continue now Already now, CMS have the information about the planned value and the earned value. The balance now is the, the information regarding the actual cost. Now CMS need the actual cost for the activities to allow to give you the full information about your cost performance and the status and the expected required cost to complete your project, which is called estimate at completion or estimate to completion. Let's go for the overall cost. We'll find this chart. This chart have also the same WBS, the codes for each activity, 
all the activities the planned value the actual cost here is the period and planned start and planned finish what we need to do here in this page you have to insert the actual cost for each activity on its time what does it mean when you see here the bar chart you will find front of each activity its planned value you don't have anything to do regarding this same is distribute the planned cost for each activity within time according to the work program or the or schedule so it is distributed there in weekly manner what we need to do now is to start following the steps let's go for step one okay then step two okay same as complete in preparing the project cost go to step three step three enter the actual cost in the bank cells here all the bank cells as we inform it now we need to insert the actual cost according to our expenses we find here the actual cost for this excavation is appeared 90 total 90,000 for last month we'll start also inserting the actual cost suppose here for the backfilling we it cost us 80,000 dirham the entity might cost us 20,000 better to insert the actual cost in the actual dates of execution we are talking here about the dates of the execution not the dates of paying maybe we will pay your expenses in BDC or the post date checks or uh, in credits or whatever no that's not our concern our concern is the dates of the execution when you start this activity and finish that is required when the equipment come to came to the site and start activity that's the required date no matter when you will pay okay so the BC under foundation 50,000 40,000 25,000 that's your actual cost for the PCC under under foundation for the RCC foundation which will cost us more almost 4 million if you finish 100% but actually you finish only 15% it consumed you approximate 600,000 according to your actual cost which will provide it from your accountant and distributed like this also the strap beam you will insert the actual cost cost you till now six thousand nine thousand dirham the foundation cost you till now six hundred thousand dirham and the balance activity is the substructure block as you see here in our in, in the schedule there is one shaded colored dates which is the automatically considered CMS considered here the last date of the report as we inform CMS is making a report for each month automatically and is considered that's what the latest month and if you open your system anytime you will find CMS automatically monitoring for your performance you have to add your actual completions and the actual cost for him only to allow him make the proper report automatically for substructure block work it's also considered again you will provide the cost for any for for the materials or for the equipment which you already doing for you the work again you will mention for your actual cost for the material or the equipment which you already executed inside don't consider the materials which on the store what I mean that if you provide 100,000 blocks but you use the only 30,000 blocks you will mention here the cost of the 30,000 blocks don't consider the cost of 100,000 blocks because this 100,000 blocks didn't consider in your earned value yet you cannot put it in your payment as a contractor no the cost which you have to provide here is the cost for the executed activities this is very important otherwise CMS will give you a wrong results 
will not reflect the actual reality. We have also the expense of the overhead, which shall be entering monthly expenses for such items like supervision. It's according, of course, your actual expenses. You will insert your expense. That's the actual cost till now. Till this month, 31st of December, which is the date of the report. Then go for step 4. Click to render. Okay. Project all cost report is ready. Now you'll have all the actual, all the planned and the actual cost for the completed tasks. We'll find here the planned cash flow, which have the required cash flow every month. And that's the actual. Till now we expend only for first month and second month. Okay, let's see what CMS did with this information can go back for the schedule we'll find here the actual cost came for each activity in the schedule now CMS have the actual cost and the planned value and the earned value in next video we'll check how CMS will use this data to provide the status report and dashboard and then we'll go for resources cost control and check also how CMS will use this resources cost control in the final dashboard. See you and thank you for watching.